you get to see some of the young guys show what they can do. Yeah, it's fun. You know, these guys are just, they're knocking on the door. There are a lot of younger guys that are taking steps in their development. It's, it's great to see. How do you like that three-on-three? Uh, three? I think it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I think the fans are going to enjoy it, too. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun this year. I mean, just with the guys you have on your team, uh, Tatar, how when he comes back, uh, Gustav, I mean, there's, you give those guys that much more room. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I just think it brings out, you know, even more skill in the game, to be honest with you. You know, you give these, like you said, all these players, you give them some time and some space, it's going to be exciting for the fans. Nick, when you see guys like uh, Mantha and, uh, and Noshek get good games today and Larkin and all these young kids, just talk about just the, uh, the depth of this organization now. Yeah, I think this organization is set up great for the future. Uh, not just right now, but you know, you look ahead and you, like you said, you got Larkin, you got Mantha, Double uh, A, uh, Nosek. There are a lot of guys that are just knocking on the door right now. Uh, and those guys hopefully are going to be here for a very long time. I don't know how much you've seen a Mantha so far this camp, Connor, but does he seem a little bit more confident, mature, or something like that? I mean, I, I think he's a little just, bit more... Yeah, I think so. And I think, you know, he what he went through last year, I think, was good for him. Uh, sometimes that's just what you need. Uh, just grind it through. Now he knows what to expect. Uh, came into camp, good shape. Uh, and I thought today on uh, different occasions you can definitely tell there's something very special there. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun to follow. Him. Nick, do you feel like that there's a I don't know a different different feeling, different work from the locker room now that you have a new coach, Blasio? You know, Babcock and obviously a different way they think about things. Does that does that change player morale at all? I don't know if it changes the morale, uh, really, but if you look at the additions that we've, we've made with, uh, with Greener coming in, Richie coming in, uh, and a new coach, uh, a little bit different language, uh, there's a lot of energy in the group right now. Uh, good bus, and guys just want to get started here, so uh, we're looking forward to the preseason and getting ready for, uh, for the regular season. Have the systemic changes been significant, or is this more, more or less Babcocky and hockey? <laughs> uh, you know, system-wise, uh, there are a few minor minor changes, but I think they they see the game somewhat similar. Uh, there'll definitely be some some tweaks here and there, but in in general, I think they both see it the same way. Crown your favorite part about coming up to Traverse City? There are a lot of favorite things I have up here. You know, the guys love coming up here uh, for several different reasons. Uh, not only do we get to go back to work, hang out with each other, we haven't seen each other for, for a few months. And these are your, you know, your close friends. Uh, and when you get away from Detroit, away from all the families, it's just the guys. Uh, I think it's a great way to get bonding again for the new guys to get into the group and feel comfortable. Uh, and, you know, the, the city of, of Traverse City, it's amazing how well taken care of uh, we get uh, the people are so friendly, uh, extremely helpful, uh, and you know, for us to, to get up here and be a part of this, it's amazing.